Hi, Virgo. So we made it another year. <laughs> Here we are. Um, wow. All right. Where do we start? Welcome to December 2021. We have... I have my astrology notes down here, so that's why I'm looking. There's a lot going on, you guys. There's a lot going on. We're the, I'm doing this on the day of the solar eclipse, and that solar eclipse was very potent. <laughs> um, it was just clear that you're releasing things, right? It was clear that there was something that you knew that you had to let go of to step into the next part of this journey, right? We're, we're removing space. The sun and Mercury are uh, in your fourth house until the 13th, and then Mars will be in your fourth house in Sagittarius on the 13th. And we have that solar eclipse there in the fourth house. And so family, security, there's a lot of stuff um, from your childhood. The fourth house often represents our mother nurturing the kind of nurturing we got as children or the kind of nurturing we didn't get as children um and there's something about this eclipse that showed you the things that you once believed in the things that you once thought were true like completely there's this ending of a cycle you know that that you can never go back to the way things were before um, this eclipse was the last of the Sagittarius Gemini axis eclipse from the last year and a half. So if you think back to like May 2020, where you were, and I know we were all in the pandemic and we were all doing whatever, um, but I can clearly see in my own mind what it was for me <clears throat> that was released within that starting during that time and it literally like that's when the, it really started during that time and so think about that think about that thing that's been going on the last year and a half surrounding your childhood or or your mother or the, what, however you were nurtured or not nurtured as a child and um the reason why you have to release this is you're now making room for your new life, your new beliefs. the And even if they're not new, they're not closed off now. They're not shoved deep down, you know, inside of you where you have to pretend to be somebody else. Um, and so now you fully, you know, you, you get to see that about yourself. And this eclipse is going to show you a lot of that. Venus is going to be retrograde in Capricorn starting on the 19th. She will be retrograde until January 29th. And then um, when she goes direct, she'll still be in Capricorn until March 5th. So Venus in Capricorn in your fifth house. First of all, first and foremost during this time, if you don't want to get pregnant, you really need to reassess any kind of protection methods. Like seriously, like I'm, that's not even a joke. Um, some past lovers could come back. This is the house of like, you know, affairs, love affairs, but it's also the house of passion and creativity and the things like it's your, you know, the stuff that your heart wants, the stuff that, you know, you, um, that brings you joy. And with Venus retrograde, we're sort of having to reassess that. Like we're looking at the relationship that we have with ourselves. We're looking at the relationship that we have with money. We're looking at the relationship we have with other people and allowing yourself to be creative. Like what are you doing in your life that brings you happiness? And if you're not doing anything in your life, that's not bringing you happiness. Um, if you're not doing anything in life, that's bringing you happiness, then it's time for you to look at that and, and reassess it. Um, Self-preservation is going to be a big thing. You really want to pay attention to boundaries. Um, Jupiter is going to be in Pisces at the end of this month for the second time this year. Jupiter was in Pisces from May to July already this year. And this is in also in a relationship sector. So Jupiter is going to be in Pisces until May of 2022. 
and then we'll go into Aries for a while and then we'll come back into Pisces from October to December. And so there's sort of like phases that we're going to go through with this Jupiter and Pisces. And um, Jupiter is about the abundance of things. It's the expansion. It's the evolution, right? And Pisces is the spiritual side. It's the creative side. It's the flowing side. But Pisces doesn't have a lot of boundaries. It's mutable water, right? So there's, it's very difficult, you know, Pisces struggle. Like they have to really work hard for them to have boundaries in life because people will project on them. It's the 12th house. So, and this is going to be an amazing time to power up with people and partnerships. Um, some of you may look and like be wanting, like you may want to get married that during this time um, or just like have a stronger commitment during this time. It's a, and it's like, it's whatever it is that how, for what's your belief system, there's this desire for you to, um, have relationships with people that are on the same wavelength as you are, that resonate with your vibration, that understand your energetic signature. There's this desire to have a tribe around you. And so I think that this Jupiter in Pisces is going to bring a lot of those people in. And because Pisces doesn't have a lot of boundaries, you're going to need to find those boundaries for yourself. The Venus in retro, the Venus retrograde in Capricorn is going to teach you a lot of those boundaries to have um, with yourself. Be also very careful about investing during the time that Venus is retrograde in Capricorn. Venus will be conjunct Pluto for like two or three weeks <laughs> during like very, yeah, it's it's going to be kind of messy around Christmas time and around the new year time and the, you know, beginning of next year. It's going to be a little bit messy. So um that's why the self-preservation is huge. That's why the self-worth is huge. That's why the paying attention to what you know to be true for yourself is huge. And there's no such thing as, as going back into the past and seeing who you used to be and growing from that. It's all about who you are, who you are now. And I feel like you're opening, you know, you're getting to that point in where you want to just like open yourself up a little bit more to people. And that doesn't happen with Virgo very often. You usually just want to be like shut down, but Jupiter's going to expand that presence, that social presence for you. So be very discerning about the people that you're inviting in while Jupiter is in Pisces, but enjoy it because it's going to be a really good time to connect like it's going to be a good connection time and we've needed that like everybody has been isolated for almost two years now like yes we're more out in the world than we were two years ago when all of this started but it's still not the same as it was so I feel you know everybody's now used to being isolated so they don't want to get out and I think that you being around people is going to be good for you um during that Jupiter in Pisces. Now in December, it the energy is going to be tense. You know, there the energy is going. There are going to be a lot of um, situations that are not going to be comfortable situations that you're going to go through. And you being the Virgo that you are, being hard on yourself is always par for the course. I feel like that one of those things is that you're. <laughs> You're really rushing. There's something that you want to happen and you really want it to happen like yesterday and you keep thinking that it's not ever going to happen. Keep like, it's like you you talking yourself out of it is going to sabotage it. You trying to rush into it is going to sabotage it. And I understand, but this is not the fate, the kind of faith that I want you to have. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and then the Fool. See, there's, I feel like there's, this is restlessness. I feel like there's this restlessness with you and I feel you like I'm, I get it. I'm right there with you. I understand that. So, um, <clears throat> and the thing is, is I think it's because, you know, you're in that position. Wow. 
you're in that position where you don't have all the answers. You don't know what's coming up next there. And everybody is there. Everybody is in the position of not having the answers or knowing what's going to come up next. And I think that you really have this idea of, <coughs> oh, Jesus, you have this idea of how you want it to look. Thank you very much. Ten of cups. All right, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, The Fool. Knight of Wands, The Tower, and The Ten of Cups. Every single time you place an expectation on something happening <laughs> in your life, you will be disappointed. 100% of the time, you will be disappointed if you place an expectation on the way things are going to look. And that's what the Ten of Cups is. Because the Ten of Cups is the imagination. It's the... It's the... Um, the fantasy, right? The Ten of Pentacles is the reality. It's the beauty of the 12th house, 6th house axes. Which is interesting because you're the 6th house and Pisces is the 12th house and Jupiter is going to be in that, right? But for the sake of, oh, <laughs> what I'm doing. For the sake of, I was about ready to give you guys some free reading. Um, for the sake of um, not uh, creating too much confusion. The, the tower situation here, it's very interesting because I feel like there's something that desperately has been trying to end and whether it was you that was holding on to it whether it was the situation that was holding on to you there's something about this where your indecisiveness is actually what creates that tower I think and you ask me but I'm not indecisive I know what I want I know what I want to do but it's about the action. It's about the, it's not that you know what you want to do. It's about the action of taking that, you know, like taking that action to do it. Um, and I think that the reason why you haven't taken that action to do it is you just haven't really, like that five of swords, you haven't really been very nice to yourself. I feel like the things that you've been saying to yourself have not been very kind. And that's, I mean, we've talked about this before. This is what we, this is what we do. We just have to remember that it doesn't have to be that way. Like you don't have to have that narrative in your mind anymore. I don't know how many narratives that I've had to change within myself. And I still have some, I still have some negative narratives from the past that creep up on me in the worst possible moments and the worst possible times. And then I let myself get wrapped up in that narrative. So I, it still happens, right? And that's why this is a never ending journey of healing. Like we're always constantly going to be evolving and being a better version of ourselves from the day before. It's just being able to recognize it and not like beat ourselves up over it, right? Be kinder to ourselves. Be kinder to ourselves that we haven't been kind to ourselves. It See the never-ending pattern? It's, I know. There's something that you are, and so the major arcana, those are the, those are the directions we're supposed to be going in. They're kind of like the big signs of life that, you know, hey, 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 you have a new beginning coming up. And this new beginning is going to require a lot of faith and it's going to require a lot of patience and it's going to require you doing things and going places and being in situations that might not be super comfortable for you. But in the end, Ten of Cups, right? I want to see what this Ten of Cups is when we get to the extended. It's going to be really good. And this Tower situation, I think the Tower situation is in the is the indecisiveness. But again, we're going to see that in the extended. If you would like to join me, I'd love to have you um, come be a member of the channel. Or you can go to Vimeo and get the video there. All of that information is in the description box below. 
I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I am offering 50% off all of my readings except for two of the readings on my website. They're all 50% off using the code HOLIDAY22. All of that information is in the description box as well. That ends on December 12th. So get your appointment down. I love you guys. Have a good holiday. Happy New Year. I'll see you later.